Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July the 26th of 2020. Well, it is titled a flight through the Hubble ultra deep field. So what do we see here? Well, this is actually a video clip that has been put together and it runs just about a minute. And what it will show is traveling through the Hubble ultra deep field. Now, this is an image that Hubble took and in fact took over a long period of time to be able to uh, pick up all of the detail that it sees here. And what we see is the result of about 11 days worth of exposure taken over the period of several months. So it would keep coming back to this same region of the sky. And most of what we see within this are galaxies. So it's a chance to look back to the earliest history of the universe. So a section of the sky was picked out that didn't have known bright stars or galaxies. So we could look back and see what things looked like very early on. And what will happen here is you play the video, you get a chance to see what some of these galaxies look like. If we could take this immense cosmic journey back all of these billions of years. So as objects pass, one of the things that we notice is that the galaxies look quite different than galaxies do today. Today, we're used to seeing a great spiral galaxies and great elliptical galaxies. And here, galaxies tend to be a little smaller and more irregular. And that's because we're looking at the earliest history of the universe. Galaxies were just beginning to form and started out as small irregular blobs. And then over time, these then coalesced together to form larger and larger galaxies. But that took billions of years. So it didn't happen right away that we had these galaxies. It took a lot of time to be able to see that. And as we travel through, we get to see some of the most distant galaxies as we get towards the end there. And we'll see some of the most distant galaxies that are known uh, to exist. So was it, what was done was again to look at just this one region over and over again, collecting a little more light. Uh, each time the Hubble had a little bit of time to to be able to look at this portion of the sky and then to put that all together to be able to see some of these very, very faint objects. So we've learned by looking at things like this, we've been able to study this and learn a little bit more about how galaxies evolve and change over time. So looking back there to the very earliest history of the universe. So that was our picture of the day for July the 26th of 2020. It was titled a flight through the Hubble ultra deep field. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be mountain comet lightning. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.